anybody else on the move. It's a little cold, so I'm not... Oh, there we go. Got a slider basking in this water line. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, I'll do a double check on these guys. Russians should be pretty well covered in here. They usually are. Okay. <clears throat> It's like kind of sad to see some of my plants kind of basically melting from uh, the cold. They just kind of wither up and give up. Aquascape Pond looks good for, for winter. I don't know if we'll see anybody in here. There goes a koi swimming around. That koi likes to jet around in there. I can see some of my snails. That's pretty cool. There's the koi. Let's see if we can get it. There you go. Look at that guy. <laughs> and then if you look, you can actually see some snails on the rocks right there. I like having those guys. Those guys help eat some of the algae. So they'll leave like a little clean spot where they've been. Cool. Still got plenty of ferns and plants. Some new ones, some old ones. Ooh, I wanted to show you guys something. How cool this is. Look at that. This is the Eastern Painted Turtle. I wanted to talk to you guys about how awesome these guys are and that they just tolerate cold like really like no other turtle. I mean it can be in the 20s and you know below freezing and these guys do just fine uh, these guys are out here basking there's also a river cooter over there another basking painted turtle over there river cooter over there so um, actually today has gone from being in the 20s overnight to being about in the low 50s today and that's enough for these guys That flat, dark colored shell gives them the ability to, when they bask, to really warm up quickly. Um, and that, that heat's able to penetrate that. And uh, then they're able to kind of get warmed up and, and do what they're doing today, which is like moving around and uh, just kind of being active in general. Now they're not really gonna be feeding on anything this time of year, but you know, they'll get out, they'll bask, they might reorient themselves for the next time it gets cold and find a new spot. Uh, but otherwise doing pretty good. And over here you can see you know, this river cooter is moving itself into some sun, but still kind of partially inactive. And that's pretty normal as well to see, you know, cooters and some of the other aquatics will do this. They're kind of still under, but they're still conscious enough to try and put themselves in the sun. But the painted turtles are just on a whole other level. You can see the bottom of the pond has all the leaf litter on it. And, you know, you'll see that the painted turtles and some of the cooters are coming out from under the leaves. Meanwhile, there's still plenty of other turtles under here like soft shells and map turtles, uh, mud and musk turtles. Um, but, you know, some are also, like in the case of this river cooter, some are actually up basking. Being able to sit here in the direct sun, this turtle is actually able to, you know, regulate its temperature pretty well. And if you were to touch like the surface of the shell, it's actually pretty warm. It's actually a lot warmer than you would think it would be. So these turtles, once they're done sunning and being active, and when they know that you know things are about to cool off, they'll actually dig back into the bottom, uh, back into that leaf litter, into some soft bottom. Uh, could also be sand or mud or muck, and they'll just stay under there through the night and wait for the next sunny day, or they can wait several days and then come out when you know the temperatures are optimal for them to come back out. And then once things start getting a little bit more regular, like in the spring. They'll all eventually come back out, start basking, and around April or May, they'll actually start feeding a lot. Um, and some places further south, like where I am, that can also begin, you know, as early as March. It's 
uh, it's really cold right now, so there's not like a lot to see. Um, I was really glad to be able to see the painted turtles moving around. Um, this is classic painted turtle weather, cold but sunny, um, and this is really one of the best times to see them. So if you have a wetland near your house and you're in painted turtle range, um, if it's a day like today, go out and look and see if you see some. Uh, they're always worth uh, going out and looking for. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Check out my Patreon. Peace out.